Hi everyone, uh, I'm Josh Shalitin, the founder and CEO of Plant Art Bio. First want to thank the organizers for this great uh, meeting. So uh, Plant Art Bio is a young art biotech company uh, that has a vision and our vision is to have a positive impact on global food security. And we intend to do that by using our IP protected direct implant platform that we call DIP and to improve crops. So this is part of the team you can see here. We are funded by uh, angels and we are also supported by the Israel Innovation Authority. Um, our main focus today in the company is, uh, first of all, the drought tolerance program where we are most advanced in. We have a project on insect resistance uh, with a collaborator. We are starting uh, to discover genes also uh, for herbicide tolerance and we'll soon start also working on uh, disease resistance. So why is what we do so important? Humanity is facing a future where there's going to be less arable land, less fresh water, more people in the world who are going to consume much more, and all that with a changing and less predictable climate. So finding solutions, for example, for drought are essential. The seed market, as you probably know, is built of both genetically engineered and conventional seeds, where in both cases, plant arc bio could contribute. It's expected to grow uh, rapidly in the near future to enable growing global demand. So uh, today, in order to identify, discover novel genes in the common practice, uh, you have to know some prior knowledge or data on what you're looking for in order to detect it and then also test it. The same goes for your plants. However, uh, in Plant Arc Bio, we look at all gene elements and genes without any prior knowledge, and we can test millions of them uh, in the plants. So how does the D process work? We first uh, look at or take a sample that is related to the trait we're interested in. It could be from any source uh, with any organism in it. And then we create gene pools out of the sample and very quickly and efficiently transform plants with it. And then we screen for the desired trait. So practically what this process is doing is testing huge amounts of genetic elements directly in the plants. And uh, I'm going to show you that we do that uh, really well. So for the drought, uh, project, we're already using this technology, we identify promising genes that show excellent results. Um, in nature, there are many uh, genes that evolved uh, for, uh, to contribute to a certain trait. So for the drought, we took samples from the Dead Sea area and from deserts, uh, and probably without using our technology, most of what we discovered would have been left untouched. Uh, and you can see here a snapshot of uh, a small part of the screen we did for drought. And I hope you can see uh, in this picture, but from out of many, many plants that express genes from nature, from the deserts, some genes are showing uh, enhanced drought uh, tolerance. After we identify plants uh, and genes using this uh, technology, they pass through several validations to be sure that they really improve the trait. Uh, and using this uh, novel technology really works well. We could discover, we actually discovered genes that outperform some of the best known genes uh, for drought, both from the literature and from the industry. In some cases, we see much better uh, root growth under high osmotic conditions. And in many cases, our genes are performing also better under high salinity. Um, 
uh, validating the genes in one species is not enough, so we go to validate them also in other species. You see a results from tobacco, where you see 30% uh, improvement of fresh weight under, or under drought conditions. And uh, we also started, we also started uh, um, using combinatorial assay, using our deep technology to identify best combinations of these genes. Uh, in the insect resistance, uh, we're working with a collaborator. I'm sorry, I don't have time to elaborate on that. Uh, however, whoever is interested can come talk to me after this talk. Um, and just to, just to finish, um, the take-home message, I think, is the plant arc bio has developed a pioneering uh, platform that could really make a difference in agriculture and uh, could improve many traits in crops. Thank you very much. Sure, that was an excellent presentation. Uh, let's focus on what you call your IP protected platform. In 10 seconds or less, no, explain what do you mean by what are you trying to protect? So um, we identify novel genes or gene elements that improve traits, many traits. And actually there is the, our uh, IP office is here, we have delegations that you can talk to them, but uh, uh, what we do is, is novel because we take something that is not, uh, it's not a common uh, feature and we put it in the plant and then the plants are uh, making better for the trait. So you can protect that, uh, so we protected the process, we have an IP on the process and also uh, new genes that are uh, contributing to a trait we can uh, protect also as well. Thank you very much.